I'm moving out of my apartment. I'm so excited. It's totally fine. Just don't you worry. Did you tell them where you're going? No. <laughs> I'm not ready to have that conversation Ooh, yet. New place reveal. I hate this game. It's the sickest, most mind twisted. The nice guy finishes last. Where does the nice girl finish? <laughs> Same place. So yeah, the rules don't change for that one, sweetheart. Since everyone on YouTube is writing songs, I also wrote a little song. I didn't bring my ukulele. I'm just gonna acapella it. And my song goes, uh, um, what's today? It's moving day. What should we say? Hooray! What are we gonna say? Oh, oy vey. <laughs> oy vey. I had briefly said, you know, like I'm moving this week because I am, in fact, moving this week and everyone was so excited and they're like, oh my gosh, Morgan, her house must be done. I'm like, you guys. Don't say ridiculous things like that. Like, it's my house. Like, of course it's not done. The reason that my house isn't done, based on my understanding of it and what I feel qualified enough to tell you, is the BTUs, whatever the hell that stands for, they were like, we have a problem with your BTUs. And I'm like, baby, I don't even know what that stands for. Basically, the amount of energy that comes to this house is not sufficient for the amount of energy that I need to be coming to this house, so the county is just not, they're just not letting me through, okay? And you know, I know they're watching, and they know that they know that I'm suffering, and um, we're just gonna deal with it because I'm not the county and I don't make the rules. Wish I was. I'm gonna make my own county one day, and make my own rules. It's not Brian or any of the contractors' fault. Brian could really win an award for ha the amount of problems that he had to fix that he didn't create. So if you say anything bad about the contractors, I swear I will show up at your house with a wrecking ball because it's really not their fault. I always have issues with counties. Remember when I like had a warrant out for my arrest in Mojave? Yeah, me too. With me and the counties, we don't get along. I'm just a girl that's always fighting with the counties. Why? I don't know. So here is the week of me. Yet again, doing what I do best. You know, there is nothing that I am better at. Put it on my LinkedIn, put it on my resume. There is nothing that I can do better than figure it out. So what are we gonna do, kids? We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna pull it together. You wake up, okay? Step one, okay? You've already made it halfway there. Accomplishment for the day. I woke up. I woke up. If you can pull it together just enough to slightly do a face of makeup, I feel like, you know, that is the epitome of strength and prosperity. Because I'm putting on my face of makeup and nothing says I'm holding it together like I'm putting on my face of makeup, you know, but I'm moving out of my apartment. Yay! I'm moving out of my apartment. I'm so excited. It's totally fine. If you can't see <laughs> in your makeup bag to find what you're looking for, then it's okay. You just feel around and your muscle memory is gonna completely take over and you're gonna find what you're looking for. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's the Kat Von D. Good apple. It's gonna really slicken us down and it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna mattify us quite a lot. It's gonna mattify. See this here? Thank you, Kat Von D. I know that everyone hates you for some reason that I don't know, but it's gonna <laughs> It covers up your acne, like, really well. <laughs> Moving out of my apartment. Again. <laughs> See that? The tears are already mattifying into the skin and it's gonna be fine. We're gonna be so freaking unbelievably fine. We just have to work a few things out, you know? I thought this was gonna be a fun little get ready with me and, um... Wow, that blending was really bad. That blending was just really bad. Concealer is going to be a very necessary step in this process. Basically how the story goes is my lease at this apartment is now ending. I moved in here with the specific timeline thinking that my house was gonna be done in like April or May or like June. We're just having a few issues with the county. 
and they don't want to let me have walls, you know? So here I am again for the third June in a row moving into my house that doesn't exist. <laughs> I met this lady at Whole Foods yesterday. She could tell that I was like distressed, you know, a little bit. And she was like, you know, sometimes God just makes you wait for things if there's like something, like, like something worth waiting for, you know? <laughs> Not the bronzer, <laughs> but it's so fine. I'm gonna finish my makeup really fast. Now that we have men in town, I've casted some men to help me with my move because I'm just a young little girl. I can't do much. You should feel right at home here because pretty much everything I own is a hand-me-down from you. <laughs> Here's what we have to do. This is a lot of stuff. It's not It's not as much as you think because I've already cleaned out like uh, most of the cabinets. This wait, is my you don't even have your, your bins packed yet? I'm like not a picky packer. I take a drawer, look at that. I need to put wherever you see fit. Wow. Today is Friday, and I'm trying to clear out as much as I can. And then the movers come and they take the big stuff. Then on Monday, I have to clean it, and then I'm going home. Did you tell them where you're going? No. <laughs> I'm not ready to have that conversation Ooh, yet. New place reveal. You want me to give you a personalized task? I take all of these bags and put them in the suitcase. Oh my God. Nope. <laughs> nope. This one would fit you. A <laughs> okay. A very, a very stretchable beanie. This should be a race. See, I'm not like particular. As many as you can fit in your arms. Look at those ones. You would like those. Oh wow, we are the same size. Wow, this is quite the moment. Yeah, do you just stare at people all day here? Oh, yeah, there is drama in this building like you wouldn't believe. I saw a guy in his window and I wasn't even spying. He was making it like obvious and he's married to some girl. And then I saw her in the elevator and she went out of town. He had another girl in his apartment the same night. Wow. I was like, what, the window's open? You can see everything. Oh my god, you are living the sweet life. You're gonna be living the... Sweet secret life. life. <laughs> Here we go. This is the last one. Onward and outward. At least if we get stuck in here, we have, you know, a YouTube plaque. <laughs> Just a couple of girlies going back home. Aren't you guys so happy to be here so you can help your family with all of their miscellaneous tasks? Oh yeah. <laughs> now don't drop my stuff, it's real delicate. I do this every day. I can bring the truck Yeah, do you wanna pull it up here? This is the top. Oh my gosh. I get lost in this garage every single day. Actually, this is my car right here. I didn't wanna give you a car reveal yet, but it's new. I picked it up at the Goodwill on my way uh, on my way home. I got these once and I was so inspired. Oh, I'm just such a mature decor girl. Someone came over and they were like, "Are those back. giant feather what? dusters?" Well, hold on, let me get and then I've never been able to look at them. Before. Look at him go! Oh, you are so handy dandy, Manny. I know. When we get to the next location, you're gonna be wowed at all the progress that's been made. So, very bougie. This is my album. <gasps> oh my god! Well, the moths are still mothing. I don't know how their big, girthy bodies maneuver in and they like hide in the door cracks. <laughs> it's Mothpocalypse. So this is where all my stuff is going. As you can see, I've already started. Well, that's all the stuff from my storage pod. From last time, I moved out of my apartment into the house that doesn't exist. Yeah, everything's going in here. This is my closet. Half of my wardrobe that's here and then we'll put the rest with it. For now, this is the hub. Any hat you want, you can wear. My first hat that fits. Okay. 
I'm a builder, I'm a mover, I'm a, I'm everything. What are you guys doing up there? Just some dead moths. This is how the inside of my brain feels. Just tears. This is the jar that I'm gonna put all my tears in. Then I'm gonna sell them with the house. Okay. Hey, we did that pretty fast. I feel like that was a lot of progress in a small amount of time. Well, good job everyone, moving day one. I'm embarking to do something today that might seem irrational, but I want you to know that I've rationally thought it through. Um, could I do a bacon gouda? Bacon gouda, what else? And then could I also do a pink cake pop? Yeah. And that's it. Bacon gouda and a birthday cake, see you up here. Thank you. What a friendly man. Oh, don't mind the junk in the back. I know you shouldn't um, make big decisions like this while you're going through what you call like a, like a, a chapter change. You see all of this? I was just looking at myself and I'm like, me and this hair have been through enough. We've been through enough. I've had enough of it. I think I wanna chop all of my hair off, like short, like short, 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 short. I don't always feel confident about my decisions, but I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident. I have here things just in case we need it. My cheese cubes, my extra hair, my emergency uncrustable. Yeah, wow. You're not well anymore. No, I am very well. I am, <laughs> I am nothing but well. Okay, so I'm going for like something like this. Get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is Okay. Really pop apron me. So I feel like I'm going to the kitchen. Oh, I'm scared. No, you shouldn't be scared. Why are you scared? Because I don't want you to hate me. Okay, well, I'm not gonna hate you. I would just hate myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're going long. I can see it falling to the floor. <laughs> so cute. Ooh. You're gonna be a new person after this. Hopefully that's a good thing. I would like it to be is. a new person. I would like to change my ID and my passport and be a new bitch. <laughs> I'm unwell. No. no. <gasps> Growth mindset, babe. I'm gonna look like Becky Homecky. I look like I'm about to start churning butter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <gasps> oh. oh, wow. Well, the good I look so different. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I don't hate it. Yum. What do you think? I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> like you fit hot girl summer vibe. Lois and Co are the queens of hot girl summer. Wow. wow, I'd be looking like a TLC mom right now. No, you don't. Wow. Hey, that's not a bad thing. They make a lot of money. <laughs> you look like one of those like Pinterest Utah girls. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Is no, the... it's cute. I'm allowed to say that because I have a Utah birth certificate. Thank you. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Like, why didn't we do this sooner? Because I wasn't emotionally stable then. <laughs> Clearly, I am now. <laughs> You're gonna go through the roller coaster of emotions. You sound like a doctor. <laughs> Your first symptom in two hours is you're gonna start sobbing. <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. Oh, should I wear like something around my head? No, I didn't tell anyone I was doing this. I kept it to myself because I didn't want any feedback. <laughs> Welcome to my new home. I'm coming to collect porridge. What the hell? Maybe with my new Utah mom haircut, someone will want to marry me. Mother! <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. And what are you doing with that blanket? That blanket looks familiar. Ready? No, I don't know. What did you do? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god. You're a new girl. <laughs> I was really nervous. 
I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, I like it. I'm a new woman today. I'm you Catherine are. now. Should we go show dad? I see you on YouTube, so I saw hey, You're just in time for the reveal. Let's see. If I'm a new woman. You better be wearing clothes. I. <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> Oh, you're kind of cut off. Wow, you're kind of cut off. They're all cold. It's cute. Dang. Yeah. I like them, Morgan. That is cute. Do you want our white light pass for this? I kind of just have miscellaneous stuff everywhere. Oh, this was a bagel that I was going to eat this morning and then realized, oh, I don't have a toaster. Amazing. The beauty of the moving. Right now, I feel genuinely sick to my stomach and i don't know if it's because i'm moving so i don't know if it's the fact that every time i look in the mirror i want to cry and i'm like what did i do or i it could be the fact that i ate a mcdonald's kids meal on the way home <laughs> i don't know i love how my life looks right here and i don't think i'm like ready <laughs> i don't know it's okay. I just wish I could stay here, you know? I'm sorry. This is like the most pathetic vlog ever. I am just so sad to move out of here. And the reason that I moved in here, you know, is because I was kind of in the same position. Like, this house that is theorized inside my head is always like, it's gonna be done, it's gonna be done, it's gonna be done. And like, it just never gets done. And then like, my life just gets uprooted yet again. And like, I'm just left to like, to figure it out yet again. But like, it's fine, you know? Oh, I just don't, I could stay here for the rest of my life and be happy, I think. Like, that's how much I love it. I've never felt that about anywhere that I lived. Even when I moved out of my LA apartment, I was sad. I was like, oh, this is sad. This is like the end of a chapter in my life. But I was like, yeah, but I'm ready to like move to the next chapter. We're here. I'm not ready. I, I don't want to move. I really don't. Like, I wish I could stay here. I wish I could get rid of the damn house and just stay here forever if you want me to tell you the truth. Like, I'm so sick and tired of this. Like, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of it. So tired of this narrative. Like, I just want it to be over. I just want it to be over. And I am just so happy here. And this unit is just like so iconic. I was looking like maybe I should just move into another unit. But the thing is, I love this. I love this unit. Like, this is my unit. And I'm so jealous that like someone else gets to live here like this time next week. I'm so happy and jealous. And I hope that they love it as much as I do because it's just like... Oh my god, it's everything up here. I love it up here. Oh, I'm so sad. I would like say a little thank you prayer every night and be like, I'm so like, I don't deserve to live here. Like this is so just like everything I could have dreamed of and more. <laughs> like I don't deserve to live here. I like, I feel like it's so nice. Like I, I as a human being just did not deserve to live here because it's so nice. But it just made me like so grateful for my like, I don't know, it just made me so grateful. I know that like everything happens for a reason and I have a lot of trust in that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. My heart is a little shattered to be like moving out of here. I know that it's gonna be fine. Oh. Don't tell anyone, but we're gonna see what happens. I'll let you know what happens. I'm like, am I gonna go to jail? Is this my headshot? Your sister's going to jail. Have a little compassion. I'm not moving on time, but we're moving. I'm like, what are they gonna do? They're gonna evict me and I'm gonna be like, I'm, le I'm leaving. I'm on my way out. I'm just a girl. Mover by day, criminal by night. I'm Anna Delvey. I'm like, what do you mean? The check didn't go through? I don't know what you're talking about. This is my foundation. My dad built it. The code still works. They must have made me believe that bad. I'm feeling a lot better today than I was in the previous days. There's a lot of videos of me crying in the club. She's coming down. She's made it to three apartments. We'll see if she keeps living. Ew, those are dusty. Um, classy bedroom furniture stuff. It's giving no housemaid. It's giving she does her own cleaning because I'm just a girl. <laughs> Women can accomplish anything. I'm strong and I'm independent and I don't need a house to live in. We were like at like 11 o'clock last night. She was like, I found another closet. Here we go. 
Just perfect. <sighs> Dare I say we are hungry? Anyone? <laughs> Going on our, our last excursion around town. Our last foot excursion. The problem with where I'm moving to is if you were walking somewhere, everyone would think you were lost. Ladies at the coffee shop before the big move. Burrito. I'm extra hungry. I also got oatmeal. Chocolate croissant. Wow. <laughs> that crunch, that flake. You're getting the exclusive moving hallway. I was like, do you think they'll take this rack of clothes? And he said, don't you worry. This is the most efficient thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna take this on a plane. I've been telling everyone this is my favorite part of moving because you find everything that you lost. Eight hair ties, Apple TV remote. Ooh, nine, nine hair ties. A French fry. Ew, Morgan, that's gross. <laughs> Still looks a little edible. It has mold on it. I think that's fur. Oh, another hair tie. It's like we're getting a whole collection. Oh, there she goes. I'll move quick in this dress. All the girls get the moving companies to sponsor them, and I'm like, I don't think we have that here. She's been handy. Oh, hell no. The moss. I'm from LA. I'm not used to no big ass moss. I <laughs> thought it was a bird. Uh, what's your number one tip for the girly success out here? Not to give a fuck. You gotta get an edge. No, for real. You gotta get an edge mm -hmm. to get ahead. Because the nice guy always finished last, and that's the truth. So, Gee. it depends. The nice guy finishes last. Where does the nice girl finish? <laughs> Same place. So, yeah, the rules don't change for that one, sweetheart. And you know what? This is what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how a girl get ahead. Real talk. This ain't no joke right here. Always reserve your right to say no. I swear to God, that'll give you so much power. When, when somebody know that you not afraid to say no to them, no matter what the situation is, they respect you so much more. Keep saying no. Watch how much further you get. No. I paid for a move and said I got a whiff of inspiration. Like, so, I was like, here, grab that side bro. He said no. <laughs> I can show you guys my house tour. So we got everything, very homey, very situated. Hey, on the bright side, everything made it in one piece, mm -hmm. except, the, except for the clothing wrap, <laughs> but it's okay. We forgive. They were iconic. He said, my company in Encino is Daddy Movers. If you're in Encino, call. She said he looked at the mirror and said, that's a big ass mirror. She must love looking at herself. <laughs> that's a heavy mirror. She was really like herself. I don't want you to overstay your welcome at my very, <laughs> my very prestigious home. Oh, let's go home, everyone. <laughs> oh wait, I am home. <laughs> oh wait, this is it. Let's make ourselves comfortable. Hope you all brought your sleeping bags.